So imagine one day NASA gets like a ping on its radar or maybe they've Whatever already they got, have. yeah, maybe they've got some people out working out and doing some space stuff and they're like, there's this weird foreign object entering our atmosphere or at least like coming into our air, our cone of, sure, sure. of, 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 of uh, uh, proximity. Yeah. So it's on our radar, Word. right? Okay. They intercept this thing and it's got all these weird, strange symbols on it. Okay. Okay. So they're like, okay, let's capture this. We'll bring it down to earth. We'll have our top men, top men, top men looking at it. Okay. So already red flags are going off for me. If like, oh, you're going to take this thing from space that you don't know what it is and bring it deliberately into our atmosphere. Yeah. Well, not only that, but it's inside of like, a, it's flag. inside of a strange craft. Okay. Two red flags then. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All go right. ahead. And obviously this craft has traveled a very, very long distance. Okay. So we've already determined that for sure. It's not like, um, it's not one of ours for sure. And also it's not like a, a, a natural, like a meteorite or something. Right. No, it's, it's definitely made, man. Definitely. Or, uh, Yes, it's made. Can't say back there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Manufactured. Sorry. That was so narrow minded of me. So I'm sorry. Uh, anthropocentric. Of yeah, right. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> if you're listening to the future, this is just how we were back in the day, okay? We were all just kind of arrogant. <laughs> okay, Ign so, ignorant morons. So our best scientists get, get involved in it and they're looking at it. Obviously, they try to do like some carbon dating on sure, it sure. because there's, a, so, there's some uranium deliberately left on there for that purpose. They're like, right. oh, okay, that's interesting. Hmm. So we can actually determine how old this thing is and where it came from. And then once we figure that out, like these pictures that are on the outside are like, oh, this is actually a map. This is a map using pulsars to figure out. Oh, cool. To figure out like where this originated from. Like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Once we figure that out, because there's this, there's this interesting. A directional like. like uh map to wherever this thing may yeah have. so there's there's weird symbols and we kind of figure out wait so it's a like minute. the movie contact basically with uh jody foster helen Hunt, <laughs> helen foster what do you <laughs> okay, okay, sorry go ahead go ahead so there's these weird symbols and eventually we reverse engineer them we figure out okay this is this is like a thing about hydrogen there's also like this oh. other stuff that relates to these numbers these it's like a universal constant right that mm -hmm. we get from hydrogen and we can use those numbers that we plug in to kind of figure out all this other stuff that's on this this weird so it's odd like a, artifact. It's like a keystone. Yes. Yes, exactly. And then we figure out, wait a minute, this is like some kind of data storage thing. And so this craft that we've brought into our Yeah, so there's well, we open the craft and there's a, there's an object inside and it's some kind of data storage. Right. Some kind of rudimentary old data storage that we don't have any way of accessing, right? Like it's it's written in a different programming language. Word, let's say. word. Or maybe it's like chemical or something that you can't like, uh, yeah, you yeah. Have a battery or whatever. Okay, yeah, so, sure. okay. So once we figure out, okay, wait, this is like a data storage. Where the fuck mechanism. are you going with this, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just hear me out. Okay, right, this I is might, box, right? I this is box, all right? And it came and it, it's got these marks on it, right? I might lead in a completely different okay, direction. Sure, sure. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. But are you intrigued? I so am, far? I am, I am, okay, I am. Right. I just, I, I'm getting blue balls. So I just want, I want to bust. <laughs> I want. I want to get to the climax. Stop here. kissing my neck, God right? Just it. fuck me, Jesus! <laughs> you have consent for the love of God. Okay, so eventually you figure that out. Wait a minute. There's another diagram on here that tells me how to access this data and what mechanisms to use to, to do get, that to get it to access. Depending on what, like, you know, what your level of technology would be or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. And so, be. so you figure that out, and then. You start to hear these really strange sounds, okay? Once you figure out how to how to play this thing, how to get that data off. Right. Of it. Okay. I'm gonna play you a specific sound. Is this gonna be that sound like an Independence Day, where it's like, like, oh my god, it's getting closer. So it's kind of strange, right? Hmm. Like it's not decipherable, whatnot. But maybe you dig a little bit deeper, you start to play a little bit more. Uh -huh. And you start to hear what sounds like maybe some kind of speech, some kind of communication. Uh-huh. Okay. So then you start getting spoken language. Some like, kind of language that you don't understand. But it's for sure like... Organically made, yes, word. by some kind of creature. Word. By some life form. Word. And then your scientists start digging into it more, and they start to hear what sounds like rhythmic notes and like math sort of things. Prime numbers and shit. Repeating. And then once you once they dig into it more, they realize, wait a minute, this isn't just sounds. There's pictures on here. So this is literally like the movie Contact. Have you seen, have you seen that movie? Because you're literally, <laughs> you're literally, describing, you're literally, this, literally describing the plot of are Contact. Are you pitching this movie to me? Yeah, right, right totally. Is it, are we doing a reboot? Is that what's happening here? Is Helen Hunt on board? No, I'm... Uh, 
you have any idea what I'm talking about? Because this is an actual thing. Not necessarily. Um, okay. I know that like there's like when they can take like audio telescopic like clips from and they point it at certain things. There's been some things where they pointed it and they hear like screaming where it sounds like fucking. I think it's one of Saturn's like moons or with like rings. telescopes and whatnot. Yeah, totally. And mm -hmm. it sounds like fucking screaming basically. So imagine you see something like this once you realize these pictures are on there. Maybe some strange life forms doing really weird things that you don't understand what they're doing. Is this some kind of religious ritual? Are they... Right. Are they... Is uh, it an attempt at communication? Mm -hmm. Is it just like a copyright brand on the side of a fucking... So I don't understand what I'm looking at though here. Like, I don't... Like, I know you said that like they're images. How do we know? I thought maybe you'd find out what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> Figure me out. So back, back in the 70s yes back in the 70s when they shot voyager out for the first yes. time yeah have you ever heard of the voyager golden records yes of course okay that's yes. what i'm getting at okay Look, i'm just trying to i was trying to give you the idea of what it might look like, like for carl an alien sagan and a bunch of people put a bunch of shit on yes like, yes yes okay yeah, cool. totally. all right i was just trying to give you the <laughs> this idea. old news marcus <laughs> i know i know but it's something that I, th I i always thought was cool i was trying to give you the idea of like what it might be like to actually discover something like that as because we sent out, basically, as Carl Sagan says, a message in a cosmic bottle. Yes. Yeah. We sent out these these golden-plated copper uh, vinyl discs right. inside of the two Voyager probes, and we sent them out into space. And They're on them is a whole bunch of like information about like human beings and Mozart. And but currently, Voyager 1 is over 11 billion miles from Earth. Yeah, it's... At the time of this recording. Yeah, isn't it? What are we at now? October 13th or whatever of 2021. Yeah, in the um, year of our Lord. In the year of our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it finally out past our, like, solar system? Isn't oh, it yeah, it passed, it passed Pluto in the 90s. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh. They're moving pretty quickly. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, Carl Sagan came up with this idea, and his partner... Uh, I'm going to put in his name. Nobody remembers that guy's name. Yeah, uh, so he, they came up with the idea for... Um, on the Pioneer probe, they put, like, a little plaque... That had like a couple of things on it that That's they kind of was. reused in Voyager. Gotcha. Which is like an anatomy. So they figured out the pulsar map. They use pulsars as like a galactic breadcrumbs. Oh, cool. To trace it back to Earth. Totally. Yeah. So That's that was, dope. Yeah, it was pretty ingenious. Some of the things they came up with. And like they used like the constant of hydrogen's like half-life and the decaying or whatever and like the wavelength. If you get that far, then you can figure out how everything else on this disk worked. Damn. So yeah. you just have to figure out that the one keystone thing is is hydrogen yeah basically. it takes this and amount of that, time and this is the wavelength and, and then, then so blah, blah, blah. okay yeah Ooh. that's the key that kind of unlocks everything else yeah yeah yeah. that's pretty badass yeah and so, so if we so if we were it's hypothetically mm -hmm. if you and i were aliens on an alien like planet or whatever and we gathered some piece of space junk that turns out is not freaking organic mm -hmm. and it's definitely made by something yeah basically what you're getting at is that that's the voyager right that's us like that's we're the, we're, we're the whatever alien planet that like scooping up this thing that our, us human beings fucking made and just <laughs> out into space. And you oh. blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, damn you. All. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. And then so like, uh, and now like we could like, uh, like you were saying, unlock the key to it. That would basically give all the information on mm -hmm. it and stuff. Imagine having just a few months to put together all of humanity on yeah what would fit on a vinyl disc yeah 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 and and make sure it's like put together in a way that could be presented to like you know that would have no uh understanding of like freaking what it's coming to contact culture, with yeah, yeah, exactly all. exactly yeah. yeah the the reason i brought all this up to you is because i was curious if you were in charge of that and say you had uh, maybe a little bit more time obviously oh, just for man. sake of argument yeah, what, yeah. Would, you what would i put, put on there on your own voice well that's like that's like like the, the ultimate time capsule right mm -hmm. like it's better it's we're, it's crazier than a time capsule because at least the time capsule we all have a shared like cultural experience at least to, to some degree as mm -hmm. like americans or at least as fucking as human beings yeah first of all the pressure would be kind of gnarly of like oh I, i'm i'm the guy that gets to pick <laughs> i'm the what's arbiter important. of humanity yeah totally sweet <laughs> pretty sure you guys should have picked somebody else dude it's a good question that, that opens up a whole nother can of worms is what do we as human beings value mm -hmm. enough to be like hey remember this is representative that we cared of us. about this yeah mm -hmm. dude that's actually a really deep question bro yeah. like what is it let me give you a step. Let me give you a beings... window into my madness. Yeah, to how my mind works and the things I think <laughs> right? about. Jesus, I'm just thinking about like what I'm going to eat, like what kind of sandwich I'm going to have next, or whatever. This Marcus is the type of shit you're pondering. Existential questions. Yeah, no kidding, Jesus. <laughs> what do those mushrooms do to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't fucking even know, dude. Well, let's like, let's let's quantify it. A music bit. for sure. Okay, let's okay. just say music. All right, like in general, because obviously that's easily like. What kind of music would you pick? 
Specific oh pieces. man, I'm about to piss off tons of people. Um, no, <laughs> let's, well, let's, I, mean, well, I was going to say, let's quantify this and make it a little bit easier. Let's okay, say there was, God. maybe they picked like a thousand people right. to send their own personal discs. What would right. you put on yours? Oh man. To be for like, sure. this is Drew. Oh, this, this was Drew for me a million years oh, away. Damn. In a thousand. Not like what I have a representation of like, not us a, as a collective, it's just literally If it's easier personally? for you to just, let's put oh. Drew's time capsule. Oh man, you put me on the spot of like, what's important <laughs> in my life and like, what, 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 what meaning is it? Um, mm. it'd be, it'd be like things that I care about, dude. Like, it, and, and it's going to seem so stupid and so like superficial or whatever compared to like the importance of humanity and shit. But It'd be just little things, dude. It'd be like, yeah, music, pictures of my fucking like family, mm -hmm. you know, and just like the love experiences that we have and stuff like that. We'll get them a little taste of like, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's weird. They, they <laughs> raise their young? That's weird. They don't just kick them right out of the nest. Fucking that's weird. <laughs> Uh, we got some uh, some Creedence Clearwater CDs. Uh, we got some skinned tapes. Uh... Animation and uh, like a couple of animes maybe and like mm -hmm. some movies and like some books and shit. Just really it's on the surface can you cultural. be more specific whatever comes to your mind it doesn't have to be all encompassing I'm okay not yeah, yeah. It, it would be the i'm not printing it tomorrow just give me some sure. ideas of what you'd put on sure dude it would be like like chrono trigger or knights of the old republic or like final fantasy 10 or something one of those like really big metal gear solid uh -huh. like one of those really big epic fucking like masterpiece of a halo maybe or something like okay. maybe one of those games that are just like this is the fucking like definitely like one of the top hundred best games ever fucking made ever you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. um that's like the pinnacle at the time of whatever whoop de whoop um my favorite novel dune obviously mm -hmm. you know what i mean for you guys i said pictures of, pictures of like my family and stuff like that how familiar are you with uh with what's actually on the discs um just super generalized mm -hmm. yeah i know there's like some music and there's mm -hmm. some like general information and stuff. yeah it's pretty cool because they had like just figured out how to actually put images uh onto the record because like they have like noise, but they can encode basically the pictures inside of that noise. So oh, I didn't know that. Was, yeah, so there's actual images on the disc. It's not just sounds. What are the images? I'll show you. Gotcha. So a whole bunch of math. What is that like prime numbers or whatever? Uh, I'm so guessing that's our location that. in 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 the in the solar system. I don't know. There's a bunch of math, a bunch of nerd stuff. I don't know. Gotcha. Oh, there's the whole pictures of all our solar system. What is that like hydrogen and water? Probably. Oh, is that our DNA? Dude what oh my god okay so earlier just passed by there was like a sperm and egg and uh now there's like a little picture of a fetus and then like you know freaking male and female and like uh oh watch out for the freaking uh for the postmodernists they're gonna get upset totally a woman freaking nursing so it was like an outline of like kids like shadows of like children maybe yeah our our, our planet oh dude pangea dope dude you'd be so confused you'd be like what am i looking at like the Three planets are here, dude. Look, there's this one where, there's the, where the continents are all over the place. There's one where the continents are all together. Fucking make up your mind. Which planet's the one you guys live on? Yeah. You guys have moving continents? That's weird. Damn, dude. So, yeah, fish, reptile, mammals, birds, and stuff. Oh, it's like us, like, hunting and everything, and then running, and competition, and school, and learning, and us at the globe. Dude, these are all images. Like, how could you decode this out of, like, how could you do that? It was pretty ingenious. It was like, pretty ingenious. I, and then with the limited amount of space and the limited amount of time that they had, how I do think you they know did a of the job. thing that it, the, what kind of operating system is the fucking thing that you're like gonna watch this thing on? You know what I mean? Like, how can you use sound to then to then translate that into images? Like, how how? But I'm sure, I math is ways, involved. I have no sure. ways that you can do it now, but I'm not sh positive on the way that they did it back then. But I can look into it and see if I can explain it to you. If I mean, if you could do, yeah, that'd be really interesting. Yeah. So I have no idea how you would do that, especially if you're. I'll definitely include a link. Some sort of, yeah, yeah. appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, cool. A bunch of cars, us, an airplane. How many images? 50? 115 images. 115 images. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's pretty cool. Yep. Those are all like super nice and like semi inspirational and positive images. Was there ever any like terrible shit in no, there? No, they intentionally like, did not include like all of humanity's murder and yeah. yeah. No images of war, or violence, yeah. or anything okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, was that, would that really be one of the images you want to present to? Hey, man, as soon as they, get, they show up here, they're in for a fucking rude awakening once it's they get down here. And they're like, day. God, you guys are so violent. Like, Send them the entirety Jesus. of Independence Day. Yeah, dude, right? Yeah, exactly, right? Well, dude, it's like fucking in that sci-fi documentary, um, The Fifth Element, when um, Lilu is freaking learning. You've seen that, right? Yeah. Okay, when Lilu is freaking learning about all the different like things in Earth or whatever, and she types in W and war comes up, mm -hmm. and she just like has a fucking like mental breakdown, basically, yeah. because she's like, wow, you guys do this to each other? What is mm -hmm. wrong with you? Yeah. Like, 
Yeah. So part of the reason they were able to squeeze so much is because they slowed it down to 16 and two third revolutions per minute hmm. as the playback speed. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's jammed in a bunch of, mm -hmm. it's like Blu-ray. You just smash in a whole ton of freaking data. Yeah. Yeah. So there's pictures, there's, uh, there's just like sounds of like different things in like nature. Um, one of the really interesting things they did is sort of an evolution of earth. So they started with like the creation process. So they has like a bunch of like earthquakes and like thunder and mud pots boiling. And then it starts to like animals creation, start appearing and then yeah, totally, yeah, totally. Yeah, all this well, stuff. I mean, and then humans fact. get on the scene and they chose this really weird thing for humans. It's like a heartbeat and footsteps and a guy laughing. It's really weird. But um, <laughs> I was with you the first two. Yeah. And then there's obviously like some music. So they chose like different music from like around the world. They didn't want to just be like heavily Western music. So. Of course. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. And then they did like a greeting thing where they recorded not all, but a good chunk of languages. I saw that. Yeah, it was like twenty languages or, yeah. so, or fifty languages or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, of men and women speaking. Yeah, they're working with the UN at the time, and so they they were thinking, well, we could work with the UN and just get pretty much every every representative of every country to to say something. But oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, but they wanted to get like men and women, so they went to like the ah, Cornell yes. University or whatever university was working with. And then word the music of the spheres was that thing that I played with you for a minute. This is like a bunch of strange noises, oh. uh, and what the idea of that is. It's based on the work of Kepler. The planets moving through space should make some kind of sound, but right. maybe we don't hear those sounds because we're just attuned to it. Totally. You know, so each of those sounds is like what what frequency each frequency to each planet is the like, different planets would make. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's all blended together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a um like a signature. Yeah. That's pretty badass, dude. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever thought of like maybe not doing that? Just though, you know, putting out all of our, you know, sensitive data out into the <laughs> You know what I mean? Some like, people you know, make that argument. You know I'm what I mean? Like, hey, man, a lot of people are like, you know, like, I don't want to get my identity stolen and fraud and stuff like <laughs> my that. My galactic you know, identity. Space aliens will come down and freaking take my identity. And then all of a sudden they're running up ATM charges at freaking space they're stripper like, places. And they're like, wait a minute. There's plenty of like people we can enslave. And clearly they have water. <laughs> yeah, like, right. You know? And they told us exactly where they are. Idiots. quatludes. I can't afford that. Like, yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. Right. And then they're going to come down and be like, hey, nice planet you got here. We know exactly how to enslave them. Yeah, exactly. Right. We'll come down. We'll look and sound like you because you guys gave us all the like information. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that we're shapeshifters. Oh, oh, well, you'll have a thousand years in galactic jail to learn about your new masters. <laughs> I, for one, welcome our new alien invasion. <laughs> you'll love our re-education program. Right? Totally. <laughs> Did I say death camps? I meant happy camps. <laughs> okay, so now knowing sort of what you know about what they actually put on there, would you change what you put on yours? Yeah, 100%. Well, yeah. well okay, so, but your original question was like, what would I put for me? Yeah, because you I, couldn't come up with an answer, which I understand. Well, no, no, no. I mean, if I if I had to put something of the un of like the representation of all of humanity on there, I would choose something very similar to what like Carl Sagan and his crew chose. Okay. What you do know you what I mean? How, do you think they did a good job? Would you have done something different? Yeah, dude, bro, it's the 1970s, first of all. So oh. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And like you were saying, dude had like two, three months to do it or whatever. Like freaking, here you go. Like you know, no big deal. Here, be the arbiter of all of the importance of humanity and put this on like you know a couple of vinyls, a yeah. couple of LPs. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like a few hundred kilobytes, basically, is all they had. Dude. Yeah. Today that just wouldn't that wouldn't go, dude. That wouldn't fly, bro. That's yeah. Not enough. <laughs> it's like I could type a word document. It's too much. That small. I don't too think, much shit in I think there, that's like... the only kind of thing I can create that's that small. <laughs> For real. Yeah. <laughs> How are we gonna uh, encode all of um, the seasons of Friends? <laughs> And send it out into the space so that they can watch it or whatever. If we can't get more than a hundred and whatever kilobytes on it, this is not going to work. This is terrible. This is terrible. It's terrible. Clearly, friends would be the first thing I'd put on mine. <laughs> After this just fill it up obviously. with friends. Don't even do. Don't bother with music. Nothing. Yeah, just nothing intellectual or fucking. The like, entire like, human experience into dialed down into. Uh boil down into the few so seasons just, of friends. So there are a bunch of fucking losers that like grow into their like mid thirties and like. Our roommates and basically and like never yeah nobody laughs at them that's terrible why don't they why don't they stand up for themselves they're getting laughed at every day clearly joey should be with rachel i mean come on what is this <laughs> <laughs> on fargnal yeah right <laughs> <laughs> next on funk <laughs> coming up tomorrow it's earth yeah you didn't think with earth it's like normal right no 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 there's a whole planet of like of there's dolphins, there's a whole planet of yeah well like there's a whole planet of like dolphins and like chipmunks and asians like <laughs> <laughs> Like you don't think they're like all oh, coming on the one planet, dude? That's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> no, we just grabbed all you fuckers from all over the place and put you on Earth or whatever. It's, See what it's a lot of fun. It's crazy. It's like shaking up an ant farm. What happens when seven billion people stop that's being what, fake? That's what. It, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just brought this up because I always thought the Voyager discs were fascinating to me. And so I, cool. I think about like the task that they were tasked with and what I would do if I was chosen. What's fucked is that might be the only thing left. 
if like we're not careful, I don't mean mm. to be too like, mm-hmm. you know, fucking, you know, hyperbolic about stuff, but for real, dude, like, I mean, whether it's our fault or if it's just like a, some fluke of, you yeah. know, fucking meteorite It's or proposed but... to last a billion years. Damn. The way they mailed it. The really? They mailed it, yeah. Yeah, they mailed it first class. Yeah. <laughs> they put that extra freaking like insurance money in it, like three extra bucks. So it's got the priority mail tape. Exactly. So yeah. it's going to be fine. It's got the fragile sticker all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not containing any liquids, explosives, yeah. <laughs> knives, batteries, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, for real though, like it's kind of depressing, but there, that might be a thing where like life on Earth is now kind of gone and done, and everything's kind of gone, and ev- any semblance that human beings were even on Earth could be gone. Mm. But this fucking thing is going to be floating out there in the silence of fucking space, dude, with all this data and this info on it, like a fucking book, dude, mm-hmm. like a story about like a. You know about a, about about characters that aren't around anymore, dude, and and they might go into some fucking galactic like history museum, and be like, well, we don't know much about the humans, right? But um, uh, evidently they liked um, you know, fucking Beethoven a bunch because <laughs> we know who that guy was. Surprisingly, I don't know because he was an alien, you know. But it'll be all wrong and incorrect. Like this yeah. person obviously created this piece of music. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently, this one person that created all this could do like fifty different voices I mean, and think, speak a hundred languages. Right. I mean, think about <laughs> think about how we get you know our own human history wrong. You know, it's just I mean, based dude. on limited evidence. It's like we That's just have to make a whole bunch of guesses. Hilarious, whatever. When like Bart's like, oh, I'll put my like hands into the like wet concrete, and in a hundred years they'll be like, oh, who was this guy? And like he's like daydreaming about what it is. They're like, who was this? Bart. <laughs> Why was he strong enough to carve his name in solid rock? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at first I'm like, where the fuck are you going with it? I'm like, bro, I'm the wrong person to ask about that, bro. You're, you start going like, all right, we found this thing. We don't know what it is. It's got a bunch of weird markings on it. It's definitely not natural. We're going to bring it down to Earth and like check it out and have our scientists just poke at it and shit, dude. Run some electricity <laughs> through happens. it. Fuck it. See what happens, dude. Like hit it with fucking protons and x-rays and shit, dude. Just see if stuff starts kicking on. See, because like when you were into like your story or, like in your halfway through your explanation about like all right and like and the scientists and they're like checking this out and they're like trying to decode this and then they figure out this thing the whole time i'm thinking like dude is this public because because <laughs> anytime they make any like, kind of announcements of like so scientists are like, checking marcus, out this thought, alien fucking thing and marcus i thought i was on top of the conspiracy he's like you're yeah, out doing real. Me, like i was just gonna say i'm like have i not heard about something like what has happened dude like how come you're telling me and you're so nonchalant about this <laughs> should have called me the instant you fucking discovered this bro do you enjoy the show and want to help it grow don't hesitate like share and donate uh, yeah dude because like the whole time i'm like thinking like dude no what do they make like announcements like all right now scientists have found like images on this sound or whatever like i could just hear all the people getting fucking loony dude just yeah, like a bunch of people nuts. like forming religious sex and shit like <laughs> they're all fucking it's aliens it's all bad it's a it's a uh, <laughs> it's a it's, warning it's, it's a, yeah exactly it's a thing that's gonna make us fucking turn on a bomb that's gonna fucking kill, or open up a portal that's gonna have invasion and fucking whoop de whoop like you know yeah. what i mean like Again, you've seen Contact, yes? Right. Dude, yeah, exactly. How fucking Gary Busey's brother fucking uh, fucking ends up freaking like blowing up the, the spinny dealy device thing because he's part of some fucking weird religious like crew that's like, yeah. you know. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, I actually at first thought you were going to like say that like they had discovered like a transmission and they. I mean, you ever heard of the wow signal? Uh Yes, the yeah. wow signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. The that they thought they picked up in SETI. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. And the dude circled it and wrote fucking holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> but it, just W-O-W. But it, it's holy shit for a different language. You just don't understand. It's binary. Yeah. Even though it's... I'm just going to quote It's that. non-binary. Non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Anything else on that? No. I just thought it'd be cool. fun. No, I liked that. That was okay. awesome, dude.